The Eastern Florida State College women's basketball team is closing in on a 20-win season. Second place in the Suncoast Conference in this afternoon. They look to knock off first place Florida Southwestern State College. Live from the Titan Fieldhouse, it's the Titans and the Buccaneers next. Oh, we've got a good one. Midweek college hoops in the Sun Coast Conference. And the NJCAA, we're on the campus of Eastern Florida State College, Titan Fieldhouse, as Eastern Florida battles Florida Southwestern State. Good afternoon and welcome, everybody. Alongside my good friend Eric Kohler, host of Inside Titan Sports, I'm Jeff Radcliffe. Thanks so very much for joining us for Titans basketball on WEFS. And, boy, it doesn't get bigger than this. One versus two in the conference. Uh, this is pretty special, too. you got a team that comes in from the South Florida area, the 15th-ranked team in the country, and then you get the hometown Titans. They've won every game at home this season, 13 straight. And uh, something has to unfold here. This is going to be a good game. Well, they're certainly uh, up against the best team in the conference, 15th ranked in the country, the Buccaneers, 22-4. and four. We'll get into the matchup here momentarily, but first it will be our national anthem sung by Jadon Brooks. And now please rise and move your hats to honor America as Jaden Brooks sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we We've watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Florida student Jaden Brooks there with the national anthem as we look into this matchup of one versus two in the Sun Coast Conference. Florida Southwestern State, the Bucks 22 and four overall, five and zero in conference play, number 15 in the nation, and a big reason why would be Tina Stevens, the freshman out of Palmetto, Florida. Yeah, Tina Stevens, I'll tell you, this young lady, this freshman, she can do a lot of things, and Coach is really high on her, the fact of the matter, she wants to be the best basketball player she can, and she leads her team in field goal percentage at 55% at clip, and she's at other stats as well. Watch out for Tina Stevens, she's special for the Buccaneers. And 29 points, 13 rebounds in that previous meeting, a win for the Buccaneers, 87-67. Brianna Lewis will look to change those fortunes, team leader in assists, and steals but boy she does everything you know to your point jeff earlier you said it's like you put a bunch of ingredients in a blender and it comes out as a perfect recipe brianna lewis is the energizer she puts everything together for eastern florida so keep an eye on brianna lewis uh, look at the two smoothies from the blender on the left the starters for florida southwestern state college steven's the only freshman among sophomores yeah, look on the left side. Look for Amanda Oliver. She's kind of the glue for the Buccaneers. On the other side, look for number 21, Victoria Morales. Definitely the glue from MJ Baker. Those are those players that just do a lot of special things that don't catch your eye on the stat sheet. All sophomores in the lineup for MJ Baker in her first season. They're spending the last three seasons at Broward. And the 2016 Region Coach of the Year. She's on the left, and Dr. Christy Ward has a second-year program that is humming in her second season. You know, that's something special, Jeff, right there. MJ's done a great job. Dr. Christy Ward's done a great job. And there's our referees. David Bowie, Mike Prosuic, and Horatio Major. No space oddities among them. 
hole. I'll tell you, some of the keys to look for tonight is you really got to check this out. I mean, Suncoast, you know, you got a team that comes from the Suncoast area down there, Florida Southwestern. They're a special team. They just got ranked 15th today in the poll that just came out for the NJCAA Division I. Highest ranking, only two years in the program. We touched on that just briefly. Two years in the program, and MJ Baker comes in for the hometown Titans. Really has turned things around to get them on the success path. The Titans last year 11 and 18. And again, two games, two wins away from uh, making it a 20-win season. They're 10-0 at home, and will uh, have a, a tall order in front of them today. Obo Fagay in the gray with the Eastern Florida lineup will tip things off against to the aforementioned Tina Stevens. Yeah, this is going to be a good game. And again, really, it's going to be one on the boards. The last time they played each other, uh, the Buccaneers came in and outswiped them on the boards. We'll have to keep that eye out. So here we go. Obo Fagay tips it to Mariah Bates, Titusville astronaut product in the front court as Claire Badi and Brianna Lewis keeping things going. One of the keys tonight for Eastern Florida is on a make or a miss, get back defensively. And wow. the two plus the one for Obo Fagay, that will keep the Buccaneers from running and gunning. What a beautiful play there. Dishing that down low and gets the foul on number 12. Wow, this is an N1 situation. Amanda Oliver picks up her first. Okay, true on the free throw, 68% from the line. And 3 nothing Titans here early going. Running the point is Sadie Disroches. And immediately harassed by Lewis, getting into the front court, giving it up on the wing. That's going to be a key right there, defensive energy, because the Purple and Aqua, they like to get out in transition and a foul on the floor. Kind of stops all that energy. Uh, reach in on Bates. But again, I, I like the defensive pressure by Eastern Florida. They've got to come out there and really kind of force the Buccaneers on each possession down low. Ormeal forcing it down low to Stevens, trying to pick up the ball over Fagay low. Loose ball at the foul line, kicking it to the... Oh, a little walk with the basketball there, Amanda Oliver. Really liking right there. That's one of the keys right there. Just keep them to one and done. MJ Baker said, got to rebound and start working as a team. You got to talk. Communication's key, Jeff. Bucks back out of the press. Here's Claire Badi. Bates. Victoria Morales. Skip pass all the way near side to Lewis. Although Fagay works baseline on Stevens. Fagay knocked down. Back pass to Bates, and then a travel there by Bates. Yeah, back-to-back -back turnovers on both teams. But again, this, this is going to happen. Two quality teams right here inside the Titan Fieldhouse, kind of getting that tempo to check everybody out. But uh, a little antsy energy right here, but uh, good start for the Titans so far. Des Roaches. Watch that point battle at the point all night. Toya Ashman pretty up, and wow. it is good, and they're on the board. It's 3-2. Ashman scores the deuce. What a beautiful drive off the glass. Latoya Ashman to South Florida Wellington. Badi right down Broadway. 5-2. Wow, nice move by Beatty. She saw the lane, attacked, and scored it. Count it, 5-2. The pull-up rims out of a Fagay the rebound. And then as a steal away by Stevens, but she's fouled. Well, what a nice hustle play for the Purple and Aqua there for the Buccaneers. Again, Alex picks up her first personal, but again, Alex did not see her in the back door, and she picked her pocket and gets an opportunity to go to the line. That's Tina Stevens, our future player in the open. Stevens, a 73% free throw shooter, at 29 points, 13 rebounds in that previous meeting. And she's on the board with her first. Yeah, Coach really really is excited about Tina Stevens. She, she just likes the energy she brings to practice. Each game, every practice, she wants to be better. Right there, Tina Stevens. And makes them both. One-point ball game here early going first quarter. At the Titan Fieldhouse, Titans with the ball. Moving from left to right as you watch it here on WEFS. Another bucket for Buddy. I'll tell you what, Claire, she's bringing the energy tonight. Four, four points for Claire. Four out of the seven. Ashman, Stevens, a little too strong and was on the line when she pulled the rebound down. 
possession back to the Titans of Eastern Florida. Yeah, that's one of the keys there again for MJ Baker. Just one and done. Force them in their sets, frustrate them, and make them work for each and every shot. Eastern Florida State College, 10-0 at home. They've won eight of their last 10. Two hottest teams in the conference here this afternoon. Titans with a three-point advantage. Bates to Obofaguet. Turning around on Stevens and gets it to go. Beautiful move. You know, at first I think she kind of set up a little too high, but uh, she got it down there. Nice move with the kiss. Glass, count it. Five-point advantage for the home team. Thus Roaches forces it into traffic. Now ahead, Obofaguet running. Puts it up and good. He's got seven points. Just Alexandrine like Obofage, it is a timeout for the Buccaneers of Florida Southwestern State. Wow, Obofage and Claire Beatty for Eastern Florida. I really like that transition to get to space. Instead of making that other dish, she saw his wide open attack the basket. And the most important thing, Jeff, she was able to finish seven points for Alex Obofage. It's an 11 4 advantage here, so a good start here. So look at this, good attack right there. She saw that defender was coming in, but she kept her eyes on the prize, and she finished it off the glass and in. And then right there, you can see MJ Baker. He's got her team held up. She's excited so far. This is exactly some of her keys that she's in. But again, this is going to be a long ball game. Each possession counts. And you can see for Dr. Christy Ward there, she wanted some of the keys, a well-balanced effort. She wanted to execute defensively, and she saw a couple players get behind him and score. So I'm sure that she wants to get back to getting that straight on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, just four points here in this first quarter for the second leading team in scoring in the nation. And uh, now we'll not get an opportunity there as an offensive foul call. Wow, that's big too. That's Amanda Oliver, sophomore at Orlando. That's, that's two quick ones on Oliver, and she's a special player. She's a great rebounder, yeah. does everything. Uh, for the Bucks, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, she and Destroach's products of Orlando Boone, former Braves. One of the high school programs with a lot of history in Orlando as Bates will launch it up. The astronaut War Eagle gets it done from the wing, 14-4. Nice extra pass, catches in the corner, she makes it. Let's see if the call's gonna be, oh, they're gonna call that a block. I really thought that was a charge. Brianna Lewis tried to set up shot, but she gets the call. Foul against Brianna Lewis, her first team's third. I thought she was kind of set right there. Maybe get another I look think, at that one, but. Uh, I think MJ Baker was making the same point there. Good start though, 10 point edge for Eastern Florida. Des Roaches. Reinforcement set to come in off the bench. The team that trails by 10, down low, up and down. LaToya Ashman's got four. Yeah, they didn't want to get the foul there, but again, they should have got that ball was loose. You got to grab that. When that ball's out there, take it away and take it back in transition. Brianna Lewis run the point, 6.9 assists per game. Titans up by eight. Obo Fagay to Morales. Lewis will let it fly, rings it out. And a big rebound there, and a foul on Morales. That's a good look at Lewis at the top of the key. Loose ball foul's coming in. It's going to be on Morales. So she'll pick up her first personal. But uh, again, I like that extra pass right there. Obo Fagay, she's feeling it down low. She makes that extra pass, and Victoria felt like uh, she needed to kick it out to Brianna. Good look at the three-point basket. No good, but uh, a loose ball foul. 5.40 to go, opening quarter. Gonna keep the pressure on, play good defense here. Want them to be one and done as Stevens will take it and walk with the basketball. Nice force defensively. Again, you know, like anything with football, any type of sport, pressure changes the dynamic of an offensive side of the team. The first substitution, Embla Anderson's gonna be in the lineup with a cooler story here, Jeff. Yeah, fresh She's got her Stockholm, Sweden, Sweden has her family in Yeah, here. family's right here from Stockholm, Sweden. How about that? An international flavor here with the Titans. Enjoying the weather here in Florida this time <laughs> yes, of year. Yes. And Anderson hits the deck going for the ball low. And now a foul by Badi. Foul on the Titans. Yeah, number 34. Claire Beatty picks up her first. Strasbourg, France. And going to the line again here. This yeah. will be. Elizabeth Spencer for the first time. 76% free throw shooter. 
One of two natives of Garland, Texas on their roster, makes the first. Good rotation of basketball there. Spencer gets on board. And both these coaches are really wanting to build their programs, elevate the conference. We cut to six. It's going to be a cutthroat game, Jeff. I mean, it's going to be, you can feel the energy inside the Titan Fieldhouse. Brianna Lewis. And turnover. Yeah, they're going to say it was off Bates. That was good defensive pressure applied by number 14, Latoya Ashman. And a turnover for the Titans Buccaneer basketball. Sroches. Down by six. Ashman will let it fly from deep off the back iron. Rebound for Morales. Here come the Titans with Brianna Lewis. Not a good shot by Ashman. Steps up and Lewis completes the layup. 16 to eight. Wow, you set it up earlier. She's the energizer. She goes amongst the trees and gets it done. It's going and going and going. <laughs> Find her a little drum. <laughs> Bad shot. Forced a little bit. Stevens, big rebound, puts it back up. Gets another rebound. Second and third opportunity. Finally, Morales comes away with it. Yeah, Lewis, look. long ball, tipped by Padi. Three on the way, rattles it home. Mariah Bates. Wow, yes sir, six points, the second trifecta. Wow, after giving up three boards there and you go down and make a three, that's, that's big for the Titans. Biggest lead of the match, 11. So giving the conference leaders all they can handle. And just flung up there Wild by Normeal. Yeah, Wild would have been pretty shot. had it dropped, but it did not. Florida Southwestern State trailing here in a game where they could clinch the conference should yeah. they win this game today. It's a big deal, too. A lot on the line. Off the dribble, too strong. It's going to go out off of Florida Southwestern State. Inbound the basketball on the baseline. Sam Jake Baker, she's into this game. I'll tell you what, Jeff, so far, the intensity of the Titans, their energy right now is outmatching what the Buccaneers are doing from Southwestern Florida. He is, can you keep this up? Yes. Sustainability. Long way to go. We would see in games last year where they would get out to a hefty lead or control a game and then lose it late because they had run out of that energy because they weren't as deep. Not the case this year. Emily Anderson gets tied up. Looks like the possession arrow favors the purple and aqua. It'll be Bucks ball. The purple and aqua. I'd like yeah. to take a, a poll on how many teams have that <laughs> color combination at all levels of athletics. Yeah, it's pretty good. Very unique. Yeah, Florida Southwestern, FSW. And they got uh, they got a nice setup there. They play at their home games at Suncoast Credit Union Arena. Averaging nearly 1,000 a game yeah. for the women's games. And again, they're trying to get some clarification in the scores table. And it, the jump ball was the original call. The shot clock did go out, but it went after. So it should be Titans basketball. With and no, nope, it's going to stay with the purple and aqua. And Kiara Meeks checks in for the first time. Jeff, sophomore right of Lake Worth. You can see MJ did not like that call. You can see it in her face. And here's Kiara Meeks. Point now for Desroches, taking into the corner. The defense by Morales, pushing her back. The defense was cut off. Ashman, tough shot. Nice move. Over Claire Badi. Yeah, nice move. Latoya Ashman, six points, leads FSW. 19 to 10, under three to go opening quarter. Brianna Lewis, not pressured. Start things off, Bates turns and fires. Three for three from three for Mariah Bates. That's unbelievable. From the trifecta, nine points. Yeah, Good answer. Tough shot, yeah, Kiera Meeks yeah. gets on the board. Yeah, Meeks led the team last year in scoring. You can see she's got a bandage on that knee. Uh, <laughs> right down Broadway once more, Brianna Lewis. She's got four. Don't sleep on Brianna Lewis just like that. Defensively, they weren't set for the Bucks. She makes them pay. 
Spencer loses the handle. Morales comes up with the steal. Come on, Bates. Could it be four for four? Not oh, that time. What a nice look. And ball goes out of bounds off Beatty's hand. But again, that look, man, I tell you what, it's fun. When you got the eye, those days you're shooting, Jeff, it just looks like that basket's like a big bushel and everything's going to go in. <laughs> it's 24 to 12. In the scouting report here was Buccaneers will run off of obviously any missed baskets. Yes. You've got to get the got to get the uh, make easy shots and not have big rebounds but they will run off of made baskets and right now it's eastern florida giving them a taste of their own medicine and there's a foul it's so foul down. meeks will go to the line yeah it's on morales morales picks up her second person that's a big undertaking right there too because victoria morales quote unquote for mj baker that is the glue of eastern florida and i think it'll be two shots for florida southwestern meeks 58 percent free throw shooter and this is the first. Conventional wisdom will tell you now that she'll make the second. As Ava Smaguli, the Latvian start sharpshooter now in there for Eastern Florida. Yeah, Morales has to take a seat, and she doesn't want to come out of the game. And uh, But she's got to sit right near this stage of the game with two fouls. It's the second. As Meek, she's got three. Her team down by 11 points. Eastern Florida has the basketball. If you're Eastern Florida, you got to love the start with a tempo. And if you're a fan of Florida Southwestern, they've just been kind of reckless on their shots. But again, that's due to the pressure put on defensively by the Titans. Body Bates, a floater, gets the shooter's roll, taking it to the hoop. First two-point bucket for Mariah. Double figures, 11 for Bates. In Mariah's the first quarter. Wow. 115 to play down the baseline, draws the foul, but not the shot. Ashman goes to the line. That's a good drive. That's a good drive down low. Foul is going to be called on number 25, Embla Anderson. But again, Jeff, Latoya Ashman, that's how you attack the basket. That was a good setup for her to get the free throw line with two shots. It's the first. At her seventh point, she's a leading scorer for Florida Southwestern. Young lady, sophomore out of Wellington, Florida. Good player. And make it eight. <laughs> wow. Took a while to get down the cylinder, but eventually goes. 26-15. Just a shade over a minute to go. Boy, <laughs> quick first step and could not finish the play. Stevens has the rebound on a beautiful drive from Lewis. It came up empty. Helps get the steal, though. What Buddy. a great steal. Can't get the bunny. Angling for the foul and thrown away. Another turnover for the Buccaneers. A little so, down now. Yeah, a little out of sorts here under a minute to play. Brianna Lewis, another shake and bake. Oh. Oh. But the rebounding machine, though, is Stevens. Yeah. Racking them up. Ashman up and under. It's good. Yeah, it's good play by Ashman. See MJ Baker saying, where's those fouls on the other end? Yeah, she doesn't like the call, but this is a play on situation. You're playing the 15th team in the country. Every possession counts, and uh, it'd be important here, just a couple seconds off the shot clock, Jeff, to get some points for the Titans. From 16 feet, one and done. Now you got to get back quick. Not a real good shot right there. You need to take more shot of the shot clock. Stepping in, shot up, and down for Spencer. She's got four. And it's 26-19 as time expires in this first quarter. Really good first quarter for the home team, although you'd have to think MJ Baker the last minute of this quarter was not very pleased. Yeah, right there. I mean, there was opportunities. They, they got the turnovers against the Buccaneers. They weren't able to cash in on that last half-court set. Titans didn't get anything, and Spencer goes down to make that bucket, and you say, hey, you know, it's seven points. You know, how's that? It's all about trends, ebbs and flows in a ball game. And again, a lot of exciting energy. These are two good ball clubs. You got a nationally ranked team. You got an up and coming team with MJ Baker in her first season with the Titans. Uh, this is going to be great. Sit back and relax. This is going to be a good one. Well, Mariah Bates has 11 of the Titans, 26 points. Boy, she has been automatic from outside the arc and then uh, going inside, too. Well, the biggest thing for Bates, so I mean, she got her shot. She hit three three pointers, but a great drive. See, that was a good look right there. That extra pass makes a difference, Jeff, because you get a shooter that confidence where they can get their feet set. And look at Beatty. What a great play. One handed going out of bounds, drains it again for Bates. 
And here we go, Brianna Lewis. She knows her shooter's hot. Feed her the rock, bam. Now look at this look right here for Beatty. She kicks it into Bates. Floats it in. Look at her, hometown cook, and it drops in. One thing you notice about uh, Mariah Bates is all three of those three-pointers come from different parts of the floor. There was no favorite spot, no, no way to scout that. Tell you what, and one of the best graphics, so Claire Beatty, number 34, to have the sense of mind to be able to throw it, going out of bounds, with a hand to find her shooter and hit the shot, that's that's beautiful execution. Well-earned dime underway second quarter. And it's Ashman forcing the turnover the other way, Normeal. Bates got a handle to it. And it will go out of bounds and be Eastern Florida basketball. Titans got lucky right there. Florida Southwestern, that's what they're good at. That's their recipe for success. They have speed. They like to get in transition in open space. But that way, the defensive pressure folded down, stopped and forced them a bad shot. Titans basketball. Alexandria Novo Fagay will return to the game. And that's not good news for Florida Southwestern State. She's had a great but game. That will, that will neutralize the rebounding the prowess of Tina Stevens. On that big size for, for Alex down low, 6'4", taking up that space. But she's got to set up a little little more down low. Right there, she's a little too uh, high on the point. Yeah, Stevens got in the way. Luckily, they got it back. Shot clock at four and double dribble. Yeah. you got to eliminate those, eliminate those turnovers. The last time these two met, the Titans had a lot of turnovers, and they got out-rebounded by Florida Southwestern. Right now, they've flipped that script, but you got to continue on. Let that play go, focus and forward. Lead is just seven now after being up as many as 11. Or 12 rather, they're up by 12. On the floor it goes, down low, but Fagay rejecting the shot. Good defense. Got to keep it up. Down on the floor is Meeks. Turnaround, shot is off the mark. Rolls on the floor, picked up by Lewis. Good job on Beatty, holding your ground. Here's Lewis. Boy. Full speed, gets the lay in to go. I tell you, Jeff, it's just fun to watch her. It's like Speedy Gonzalez. She's got that speed, that explosiveness, and she finishes, though. I've seen so many players that got that explosiveness, but they can't finish the drive at her size. She gets it done. On the lay. And drawing the foul is Stevens. So over for Gay, picks up another. You know, the big thing about that play right there for the Purple and Aqua, the Bucks, is that it stops the kind of the madness, gets them set, Gets him clarity of a play, and again, Stevens makes that play to get two shots. It's 2,000, Obo Fagay, that's, that's big right uh, there at this stage. Gonna start turning it around and getting some on 15. And she makes the first free throw. She's, all her points have come from the line, but the influence she's had on the game as far as rebounding and altering shots. This is the second. Badi. Crowd a rebound. The lead is eight. Titans have the basketball. And he's in a quarter minutes to go. And as a road team, as Bucks, they got to make those free throws when they're there. Great drive by Alex. And go to the line. Meeks picks up her first. I, I like that. Good presence of mind by Alex there. She had an opening. She couldn't put up the right shot, but she gets the free throw line, the charity strap. But you got to cash these in. This is the first. She's a 68% free throw shooter, the sophomore out of Paris. And Felder checks in for the first time, number five for Florida Southwestern, a freshman out of Lake Worth, Florida. Shot of Alex. Got to cash in here. Wow, the second one home. The game with eight points. Eight minutes to go in the half, 29-20. Got Meeks. the recipe's clear right here. Got to sit down, stay low for the Titans defensively. Normeal, Stevens, Anobo Fagay driving in and draws another foul. Hands to the head yeah. for MJ Baker, like what is going on here? That's an end one situation, but more importantly, you can hear the PA here, Mike Parsons stating that's the third personal foul, and that is big, because we got 7.48 to play in the first half. And she's gonna be replaced on lineup by number 15, Regine Greer out of Fort Lauderdale. Well, that's obviously the, the master plan here for yeah. Dr. Christy Ward. Get Oba Fagay in foul trouble early, and they've done just that. Big yeah. rebound by 
by Regine Greer who came in to spell her. So she'll have to be up to the task here to at least get them to halftime. To your point, next person up. It's a team effort. Boy, <laughs> nice look there for Iva Spiegel. Riga Latvia gets the first points of the day. Oh, nice and denial. You gotta get the ball though. And Good play. second opportunity goes. Nice job by Meeks to see an opportunity to clean it up and make it count. Four points for Meeks. 31-24, the cushion is seven. Lewis. Kelly. Flips it back to Bree. Shot clock under 10. Got to move. Got to move without the basketball. And this is going to all be Lewis with one to go. Puts <laughs> it up. <laughs> wow, I'll tell you what, she makes it count. Eight points. Brianna Lewis from Chicago. That's the Chicago way. And there's another foul, and Meeks will go back to the line. Those fouls are really adding up. Yeah, you're right on that. Second, second person on Brianna Lewis. Again, kind of a game plan to slow it down for possessions. Meeks back to the free throw line. Two shot situation. Eggs the first. Coming in for the first time for the Bucks is number 34, Taylor Gocher, sophomore in Garland, Texas. We saw her in a game here last year. Makes them both. Yeah, Mix She's comes off seven. the bench. Good to have that kind of scoring punch off the bench for sure. 33-26, six and a half to go. Opening half, Claire Badi runs into a brick wall, keeping it going. Lewis, Greer tries to reach the rebound. Meeks comes away with it. Running and gunning, Kiera Felder. Box Long three on the way, rims out. Rebound Meeks. Back up and down and one. So a three-point play opportunity upcoming. Another and one situation for the Bucks, and those fouls are racking up quickly. And that's the first personal foul on Spagul. And that's going to bring back Morales. But uh, Jeff, right now, uh, you can see the energy has changed. Florida Southwestern starting to be aggressive, forcing the basketball, and they're catching up with no time on the clock. Complete the three-point play, unable to do so, but getting the rebound was Gocher. So let's reload. The lead cut to five. The rebounding battle starting to swing back in the visitors' favor. Well, you want to avoid second and third chance opportunities. Good pass. Meeks had the shot altered a bit down low. We'll get it right back. Two and three chances each trip down. Easter Florida will have to keep up the shooting percentage to have a chance here. Victoria Morales, she draws the foul. That won't drop, though. Good presence of mind to take it to the rack. And the foul's on number 34. Gocher picks up her first. But again, a nice pass here by Spagul. Sees Morales on the far wing, and Morales, instead of holding up and making another pass, she takes it to the rack and gets herself two shots. Opportunity. And we'll get the bounce. So on the board is Morales. We'll have a second free throw. The sophomore out of Oviedo High School. Good oh, actually, out of Haggerty High School from Oviedo. Morales, the glue of MJ Baker's Titans. Makes them both a uh, former Husky. Uh, don't say she's from Oviedo. That makes those folks mad. Dashika Price in the lineup for the first time for the Titans. Sophomore nearby Coco, Florida. As you said, next player up. Yeah. Got to make a play. Get an opportunity. Meeks. And... <laughs> Too wild of a pass. Ashman lost her shoe. <laughs> Too wild of a pass, so I like that little cut drive right there. A little dr trouble drive with a backdoor pass. But a little too much heat goes out of bounds. Turnover for the Titans. Again, everything seems to go the way for the Titans, but you can see right now the adjustments made by Florida Southwestern. They're getting aggressive, and they're starting to get their, their bigger players down lower getting opportunities. They're racking up a lot of fouls against the Titans. 11. Lewis has this game on her back thus far. Bates 
On the wing, five minutes to play in the half. Bates too strong, one and done once more. Meeks comes away with the rebound. Here come the Buccaneers. Spins, loses the handle. Oh, oh what a pick Lewis, Lewis has it. Brianna Lewis. She stepped out of bounds. It will be Eastern Florida basketball. Well, she ran into a brick wall. Yeah. No foul call, though. No, it's all ball. I mean, MJ wants the foul there. That was good defense for the Buccaneers as number two comes back on the floor. Sadie disroaches. But uh, I get, again, a good new no call for the officials there. Uh, but much to the chagrin of MJ Baker. She doesn't get the call, but they get the basketball. I'll make it count. The lead is seven. This Disrupted enough, Morales is surrounded by trees and eventually has to give it up. Des Rochas cut it to a three-point game. Yeah, Lewis went too deep in the trees that time. It's too dark in the forest. Stevens. Uh, jump ball. Jump ball. Well, for once, not a foul in Eastern Florida. Yeah, that's, that's good news. 11 team fouls have been uh, accumulated by the Titans. And most notably, Alex Obofage has three personals. And we're still in the first half, Jeff. Be interesting to see what MJ has to say to you at halftime yeah. in regards to that. Des Roach is not necessarily known as the shooter on the team, but does distribute nicely. Number five to shoot. Now three, losing the handle, got to get it up. And that will get wow. it done. Gocher. Oh, that's just, as a coach, yeah. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, big bucket for the Buccaneers, bad for the Titans, great for the Bucs. Four to go. Austin Morales. Odia, yeah, Ooh. off the bench. Got a loss. Wow. Dora Odia. Oh, that was Dashika Price. Yeah, Price from downtown. That's a big the, shot for Price. The Price was right. Sorry about that for the <laughs> former Coco Tiger. Price was right there. That was big after giving up that bucket to the Buccaneers. Trying to answer, and yep. boom goes the dynamite. Sadie Dos Rochas. That's why they're a nationally ranked team. They have an answer. Again, this is going to be tooth and nail the whole way. Sheikha Price, a 43% three-point shooter, so in there to be able to do that. Does she make it two for two? Not oh. that time. But there's Morales and gets and a foul. She'll go to the line once more. Victoria Morales, again, some of these games she shows up. She doesn't get all the big numbers, but uh, she that's a big offensive rebound, and then she gets an opportunity to get the free throw line. Victoria. 60% free throw shooter. Well, rack that one in. She's perfect tonight. Three for three. That's what you got to do. Reinforcements coming in for the Buccaneers. There's Erna Normeal, top player, sophomore of Lake Worth, Florida. Competitive player that works hard and can make a change within the game. Coach Ward really likes this young lady. Morales misses the second. So seven point advantage with three minutes to play in the half. Des Rochas. Ashman. Ashman had 20 points off the bench in the previous meeting against Eastern Florida. Des Roaches stops, pops from the foul line. It is an air ball. Might have been tipped. Eastern Florida basketball regardless. Good defense right there. Swing out low. They collapsed on the on the shooter. Forced her to make a bad shot. Goes out of bounds. Titans ball. Brianna Lewis had 22 points and seven assists. So in that last meeting against Florida Southwestern, too. They didn't have the answer for her then and not tonight either. At least not thus far. Daishika Price. Shot clock at six. Lewis up and won't get it to go. And that'll be a play on situation Yeah, because the ball hits the rim. Hit the rim, yes. Yeah, that should be Eastern Florida basketball, right? Yeah, because it's a jump ball position that favors the Titans. And it looks like MJ Baker wants to talk about it. There's Dr. Christy Ward, the coach, and there, right there is MJ Baker. And a 30-second timeout by uh, Eastern Florida. It looked like uh, 
Coach wanted it over the back, but the, she was fortunate there. It was almost a shot clock violation and a great play by one of our players to go underneath that, snatch that, force a possession and get that ball back and keep the basketball. Brianna Lewis has eight points for the Titans, but the energy she has provided and taking it right at the Buccaneers has been a big story so far. I just what a great move to split the defenders and, and to be able to go in there. And again, she just got that quick, exposed that extra step. And you know what, everyone's like, oh, her size, but look at that. I mean, dribble drive, attacks the basket. As we said earlier, she just has the knack to finish the play. I mean, look at that, she splits the defenders and, and knows how to use that glass. Execution 101, nice job, Rihanna Lewis. A very sophomore out of Chicago, fearless Lewis. There's Coach Ward right there. She's done a great job, only two years in the program's history. That she's their highest ranking. It came out today, yeah. 15th in the country. Wow. Bates will let it fly once more. Oh, swish! That's her fourth three-pointer. That extends the lead back out to 10. 14 points for Mariah Bates. What a great game, a great time to show up for this big matchup. Down low. Good and play. Goes for Gocher. Yeah, good play. She's got good size down low. 6-2. Creates a lot of space. It's kind of hard to move that. Under two to go in the half. Morales into the lane, floats it up, gets her own rebound, kicks it back out. Ah. Too far for Mariah Bates. She needed about another foot on her frame. I think Morales, when she gets that offensive rebound, just come down with it and let someone come to you. She made the pass while she was in the air, and nothing good comes out of that. Ashman for three. Oh, that's the answer. Good range. 13 points. She's putting the Bucks on her back with Toy Ashman. 22-37. Keep pace here. Morales dribbles in. Bates couldn't shake the defender in Normeal. Shot clock to 12. Too far. Here come. The Bucks running and gunning. Normeo. Oh, oh, great Morales. defense. They couldn't keep the basketball. Uh, eventually, Badi cleaning it up. On the move, Lewis. One on one, one on two, kicking it out. Bates for three. Ooh. Money! Honey! <laughs> Five three pointers in the first half for Mariah Bates. 17 points, Radcliffe. Say it isn't so. Bates is on fire. About a half a minute to go. Shooting percentages are up, to say the least. Loose ball, 10 seconds to shoot. Ashman, plenty of time, that one off the mark. Boy, quickly put back up. It's three and four chances each time down the court as the Titans are getting abused on the boards, but still in command of the game for the time being. A six point lead, eight seconds to play down to five, four, this is going to be Lewis all the way. No, lays it off. Badi at the buzzer. Lady makes it. And it's 39-47. The Titans up by eight at the half as Badi at the buzzer gets her sixth points. So a lot of energy in this contest thus far. So there's certainly some areas to improve. Some foul trouble for Eastern Florida. They're going to have to look, talk about it in the locker room. Also, some rebounding issues. But they've been shooting and hustling, and that's one thing M MJ Baker uh, has to be pleased with. You know, the Titans looking for their 19th win of the season and looking to go 4-2 and two in conference play. And MJ Baker is with our Eric Kohler. Hey, we're with head coach MJ Baker. I'll tell you what, the intensity and energy that first half was amazing, Mariah Bates. But what about the fouls that are racking up right now, Coach? Yeah, I can't say much about that. We're just trying to do our best to control what we can control. And um, fouls, we're just trying to be a little bit more disciplined, but we can't control the whistle. Well, I'll tell you what, good luck in the second half. Thank you, we need it. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Eric. Good stuff as the Titans leading the conference leaders here, 47-39 at the break. We'll take a break with it. Titans at the half with an eight-point advantage. We'll be back right after this on WEFS.
Join us for the second annual Backyard Barbecue Blues and Brews Cook-Off and Family Fest on Saturday, February 24th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the Melbourne campus of Eastern Florida State College. Sample food from teams of amateur cooks competing for cash prizes, trophies, and bragging rights. Plus, enjoy bluegrass music by Penny Creek Band and a Kid Zone. For more information, contact the EFSC Alumni Association. All proceeds will benefit the EFSC Foundation Student Scholarships. Getting a college education that can lead to an excellent career is at your fingertips with online classes at Eastern Florida State College. We offer 240 courses online, providing convenience and flexibility to meet the needs of every student, especially busy adults juggling jobs and families. Many degrees are offered completely online, including 12 bachelor's degree tracks in today's fast-growing job fields of business computer technology, and healthcare. You can also complete an associate's degree and college certificate online, making it easier than ever to get the education you need. Taking online classes has really made life easier for me. Being a father of a, a, a toddler, I was typically busy from seven in the morning to seven at night. Online classes allowed me to start at seven, 7.30, and uh, work till 11 o'clock at night. It's just a really good option for someone who's got a lot going on. Whether you're entering college right after high school or are already in the workforce and returning to advance your career, Eastern Florida's online classes are the perfect fit. They offer the same high academic quality, outstanding instructors, and small class sizes found in our traditional on-campus classes, ensuring you receive personalized instruction to help you succeed. Eastern Florida's online courses are offered in 12-week and 16-week formats, giving you still more study options. We also offer something no other online college can provide. Campuses right in your backyard, in Titusville, Cocoa, Melbourne, and Palm Bay. That means you can take classes online and still visit any of our four campuses to get help with one-on-one -on -one advising, tutoring, financial aid, and more. You can go on campus, even if you're taking an online class, you can go there for tutoring, writing labs, um, professor, office hours. You can go to the library, study. I mean, all the resources are there, just like they are for the other students that go on campus. Take advantage of this great opportunity and get started with your online education today at Eastern Florida State College. To learn more, visit easternflorida.edu slash go slash e-learning. The college is so amazing. Like the Dare to Finish scholarship, what kept me from finishing my degree sooner was finances. My husband and I were talking about me returning to school and we've got to do this. I've got to finish it. I'm one class away. And the next day I got the brochure in the mail and I said, I'm doing this, I'm going forward. For students that are in a similar situation, I would say don't give up. I would say there's always hope to reach out to their college, talk to advisors, you know, see what avenues, uh, scholarships there are, um, help that's available. Once you're in school, if, if you're worried about being able to get good grades, you're, you're worried that you're not going to be able to pass. I mean, there's learning labs. I spent so many hours, countless hours in the learning lab. You know, there's ways to get you to get good grades and pass and learn the information and do well. So I would say don't let anything get in your way. Get into the school, see an advisor, and dare to finish. Eastern Florida State College women's basketball team takes on Hillsborough Community College live Saturday at 2 on WEFS. Eight point advantage at the half for Eastern Florida State College in the battle of number two versus number one in the FC SAA Suncoast Conference here. Big Region 8 battle. I'm sure uh, teams around the 
uh, stayed or are paying attention to the uh, score of this one as the Titans looking for the upset. In, in good shape, are shooting the lights out at 60 plus percent. The question is, is that sustainable in the, the way the things are being played currently? Well, I mean, the biggest thing, they're shooting a great clip from the field goal percentage, but the fact is their energy and intensity on the defensive side of the ball is really forcing uh, the Buccaneers in some tough shots, and that's what's really keeping them involved in the game. But again, as we talked to MJ Baker at halftime for a quick question, is that she's got to sustain this, as you said, two halves. This would be a great opportunity to beat a ranked team, especially right here, undefeated at home, 10-0 this season. They've won 13 straight inside the Titan Fieldhouse. Great opportunity for the program for the Titans and MJ Baker. It would certainly be uh, the, the uh, marquee win of the season should they pull it off here this, uh, this afternoon slash this evening. And tell you what, Brianna she's Lewis. Been, she's been the one to really get things going, Brianna Lewis, and that's no surprise. Nah, really. I mean, we talked about in the open, she really, uh, she does so many good things, but that really, that step, that explosive step she has, I mean, look at these moves. She goes in highly defended territory where she splits the defenders and just right here, watch this move. Isolation. You know it's coming at you. Gets her to leave her, and she splits the defenders off the glass. Great execution for Brianna Lewis. Eight points and seven assists in that first half. Now look at this right here, though, Jeff. This young lady, LaToya Ashman, she's really bringing it for Coach Ward and the Buccaneers. 13 points, and she just knows how to attack the basket, and she knows how to finish. LaToya Ashman, 13 points. And, and again, right here, it's Mariah Bates coming in here. Another look at Ashman. She's got a nice little look. That was like a little scoop deuce right there. Eastern Florida led by as many as 13 in that first half, but then they were reeled back in by Ashman and company. Yeah, I tell you, Ashman's got some range, too. But uh, now on the offensive side of the ball, look at Bates right here. She sets her feet, beautiful shot, great rotation, drains it. She has three three-pointers in the first half. Oh, five. A, look at that. Yeah. Five of six from three-point range. She's just something special. And, I mean, she's bringing it. She leads the team with 17 points and five of six from the three-point line. That is Smoking. something. Yeah. yeah. It really is. But the extra pass, you can tell. Look at this. I like this play right here. Just ball drops down. Mariah Bates, that's how you finish off 17 points, but a great look here inside Titan Fieldhouse as the men's team. This is a double header for the Fieldhouse here. Yeah, they got Santa Fe yeah. here later on this evening. Absolutely. Uh, they're currently 22 and three and five and two in the conference and still in the conversation for uh, winning the, uh, the Mid-Florida Conference. And there's the Andersons, straight from Stockholm, Sweden, out here to uh, support their daughter, number yeah. 25, Embla Anderson, a freshman out of Stockholm. Uh, we both went up there and introduced ourselves, and uh, great to see them. There they are. Welcome. <laughs> our good friends from Svea, they say in Swedish. Yes, they're some of our, our, our biggest viewers here on WEFS. They watch every game. So. No, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I have some Swedish background. I'm the first one born and raised in the States. A lot of people didn't know that. So it's uh, really nice to see the Swedish influence here inside the Titan Fieldhouse. Well, the second half right after this, we'll talk a little bit about the personal foul situation stacked against the Titans. We'll know more uh, when we come back on WEFS. Join us for the second annual Backyard Barbecue Blues and Brews Cook-Off and Family Fest on Saturday, February 24th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the Melbourne campus of Eastern Florida State College. Sample food from teams of amateur cooks competing for cash prizes, trophies, and bragging rights. Plus, enjoy bluegrass music by Penny Creek Band and a Kid Zone. For more information, contact the EFSC Alumni Association. All proceeds will benefit the EFSC Foundation Student Scholarships. Join local sportscaster Eric Kohler as he hosts Eastern Florida State College coaches and student athletes for a closer look inside Titan Sports. Produced in partnership with Florida Today, the weekly in-depth program covers the 11 Titans men's and women's sports teams through game footage and coaches analysis. 
Get closer to the action Thursday night at 8 here on WEFS. My wife is currently in the Air Force, so I decided to be a stay-at-home father. I'm a retiree and a full-time student. I did um, online classes because I was traveling and it was easy to take the classes with me. I am graduating today with my bachelor's in business administration. If it wasn't for the online classes, I would not be standing here today. There shouldn't be any procrastination. Just get out there and go do it. We meet on a regular basis with industry partners and uh, we establish uh, what their positions are, what their demands are, what the skill sets are, and we're constantly adjusting the curriculum to, to meet those goals. What we pride ourselves in here is having a work-ready product. Somebody that can literally go into the workforce, knows the equipment, have put their hands on it before, knows the software, knows the programming languages, and knows how to work with the networks, and can be productive within their first week of work. One of the other things that we see a lot from the industry is more and more demand for soft skills. And we've incorporated into the curriculum courses like project management that enables those students to really see what it's like to work with others and to be part of a team, not just an individual effort. Currently I'm enrolled at Eastern Florida State College in the AMT program, that's Aircraft Maintenance Technology, um, and is a program that just started. I'm a member of the first class here at Eastern Florida. Everything we do here is FAA approved. When you're finished with this program, you will be able to receive your AMP as long as you pass all of the FAA written tests. All of the instructors here are ANPs. They have that background. Some of them have military backgrounds. Some of them have teaching backgrounds already. My instructor, for example, Hampton, he was in the Army. When he got out of the Army, he took AMP school, and got his AMP, and he's been working in the industry ever since. Most of the other AMP schools are just book work. And we actually have the, the cool equipment, we've got the planes, we've got the engines um, to work on and, and get that experience that you can't really get anywhere else. My biggest interest after graduating here is going to be aerospace, those aerospace um, facilities like SpaceX, Northrop Grumman, uh, GE, those are probably my top three. Eastern Florida State College women's basketball team takes on Hillsborough Community College live Saturday at 2 on WEFS. Titans 47, Buccaneers 39 as we get set to start the third quarter here at the Titan Fieldhouse. Jeff Radcliffe along with Eric Kohler and our entire WEFS crews. The Titans and the tidy things up in the personal foul department. They are trailing in that 11 to 5 right now. So a number of players in some foul trouble. And Obo Fagay, one of those, and she is not starting the second half. So electing to keep her on the bench is MJ Baker. Saving her for the stretch run. Yeah, 11 fouls are not good in comparison of five for the visitors. <laughs> Usually it works the other way around, but as you uh, said, at home, yeah. Yeah, Alex Obofagay with three personals sets a big storyline at this point. Finally, Stevens along the baseline. And the rebound goes. Nice dish from Matt Oliver, yeah. Oliver's first bucket. She's got two. 47-41, one possession down for first place team in the league. Good look. And now they'll have their second, that one was off the mark. Good look, didn't drop, but again, this is a very dangerous situation for the Titans as the Buccaneers like to get out in space. Highly talented team, 15th ranked in the country. 
For Meal, that's an air ball. Bad shot. Boy, but tracking down the rebound once more. Titans were trailing at the half by three in the rebound department. Got to get a shot off. Six to shoot. And bailed out by the foul. Almost looked like that could have been an offensive foul. It's uh, as number 14. Latoya Ashman, the way she dribbled drives on the baseline, she's kind of pushing off, but uh, Badi picks up her second personal. Be an inbound play. Meeks all the way back to Erna Normeal. 15 points in the previous meeting, the win. 87-67, a 20-point win down in Fort Myers. Loose ball, picked up. Good defense. Bates comes away with it. That's how you collapse around the basketball and then an ill advised unforced terror turnover on the Titans. You can't do that when you're trying to keep that undefeated home record going right here inside the Titan field house. I guess the rule had the steal. All for naught. Six point basketball game. Just underway, third quarter. Meeks. Ashman up and under, and it's two more. Lead cut. That much further, it's a four-point basketball game. Ashman has four here in the second half. Yeah, 15 total. Again, it's going to come down defensive pressure, but the Titans on offensively got to get some good looks right here. Morales gets it to go. That's why MJ Baker calls her the glue. Right when you need a bucket, that's when you call Victoria Morales, big bucket. Meeks with the basketball. Play third quarter. All right, the foul line, the quick step. Amanda Oliver not inclined to agree. Yep, she shuffled her feet right there, Amanda Oliver. And look at Oliver, she didn't like the call. It's the right call, turnover for the Titans. And the Buccaneer shuffle. 49-43. There Badi, the head of Strasbourg, France. Working one with Lewis. Bates, who's been on fire from the field. As soon as I say that, the commentator's curse strikes. He misses. <laughs> he sure did. It's a one and done. While well, they were shooting 60% from the field in the first half. In fact, 67% from three-point range. And Oliver gets that one to go that time. Good so play. to keep that going is going to be tough. Yeah, it's a good uh, dish down low to Oliver. Kind of got ourselves a ball game, Jeff. In the tide here. And as Lewis surveys things, by the on the floor, turns around, shot on the way, Tough shot. done once more. Oliver the rebound. The big question here, Jeff, is how long can MJ Baker afford to set number 40, Alex Obofage? Buccaneers are starting to get penetration down low on the paint, and that's a big storyline second half. Up uh, and it falls. It's an 8-2 run to start in the second half. That's what I'm talking about right there. There's nobody to defend down low. Uh, getting a chance to go to the line. Lewis gets bailed out there. Lewis was in the air right there, Jeff, and uh, draws Meek's second personal foul. Lewis was a little out of control, but bottom line, she draws a whistle. She gets two shots at the charity strike. Sitting on eight points. See Alex in the role of cheerleader at the moment. Yeah, I mean, again, this is a situation where a coaching decision of what you got to do here. This makes a free throw. I thought there would have been two there, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. good play defense by Mirage just to strip it away from Oliver. Lewis. Kicking it out. Bates, one more time. That's off the front iron. Rebound by Stevens. It was a good look because Bates is on fire tonight. She had a look. She got her feet. It just didn't drop. Timeout. So the advantage is now just three. That's a good look at uh, the coach, Florida Southwestern. She's done a great job in just two years. That'll be a full time on the floor. Uh, and again, these are some of the keys. She wants to win the boards, crash the boards hard, and right now you can see that start and inch them closer to the Titans. Titans got to get better looks offensively, Jeff. Got to get some better looks. 
So again, an 8-3 run. I think the second, the first free throw might have been a, 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 a violation as far as uh, lane, violation. lane violation. So they yeah. waved that off, and then uh, Lewis hits the second. Yeah, I so thought, I thought she would have had two of them, but they yeah. must have waved that one off. Yep, so three-point differential. But, uh, again, it really comes down. You can see uh, a good look, good energy of the friends and family that are here to support uh, the women's Titans team. They want to try to stay undefeated. But as you said earlier in the mention in the broadcast is that 18 wins have been amassed by Eastern Florida. And really cool if they could get to that 20 mark this season to match what Jeremy Shulman's doing on the men's side. Yeah, men's team with 22 right now. Let's take a look right here. Jay. They, they, everything's been coming up bases for them here in this third quarter. That's a good look right there, Amanda Oliver, making that extra pass. But again, th this is this is how the Buccaneers score. Latoya Ashman, she just knows how to get to the basket. She's got a sense of good pass, and Oliver has had a nice second half. Oliver has four points in the second half as we come off a full timeout called by yeah. Florida Southwestern. After a goose egg in the first. Yep. Oliver. Another player, Amanda Oliver. And their glue, not the stat filler, is Amanda Oliver for Florida Southwestern. So they got two glue players, and that's important in these close-knit close, uh, close -knit games here. Stevens, Brown backs it out, take it into the trees, put it up. They're trying oh, to out it Bates, able to do so. And wow. She just steals it away from Bates and puts it back up, the strength of Tina Stevens. It's a one-point basketball game, and It'll be a chance to take their first lead here as it's one and done once more. Good and pass. Intercepted. Good pass intercept right there. Spigul. Got to get points here for the Titans. Bates will float it up and get it to go. Back to three. It's 52-49. Yeah, 19 points for Bates. That was a much needed basket for the hometown Titans. Again, when are we going to see Alex Obofoge off the bench for MJ Baker? And there's Bam. her answer. She's checking in the scorer's table right now. Good move. Wow. Could not box out. Second chance. Oliver has her sixth point of this half. Good job for Oliver. The, the back door was wide open for the Titans defensively. you got to close that door. That was an easy bucket for Oliver. We got ourselves a one-point game. There. Morales couldn't rattle it home. Bates there to try to get the rebound, got knocked off the ball. And a basketball and a chance to take their first lead here on this possession. Meeks turns around, kicks it back out. Ashman, and it's a two-point advantage for the Buccaneers. First lead of the game. Wow, big three-point basket for Ashman. She's having what a heck of a game for the Buccaneers. 18 points, but again, you can see the Titans offensively, they have no penetration to get anything set up on the post. And that will go out of bounds off of Eastern, or off of Florida Southwestern State. Here come three changes. Yep, most importantly for the Titans, Obo Faguet comes in, but again, the Titans, everything's working well for the Buccaneers. They've made their adjustment, they've become aggressive, they're going down low. Just simply no answers down low for the Titans offensively, but maybe Alex can change that tempo. Boy, uh, no foul there. Yeah, sometimes, mm. sometimes you're not going to get that call being that size. Reinforcements are in. Kira Felder, two-point lead in the basketball for the visitors. Got to stop out like gangbusters. A long three is short. Lobo Faguet has the rebound. See the difference right there? There's a couple plays and offsets right there. Alex is down low. They don't get the second chance chance for the Buccaneers, that is. Bates. Remember that pick and roll. Got to set up some high-low here, Jeff. Lewis can't get it to go. Crashing the board, Morales along the line. Eastern Florida basketball. Yeah, Oliver had the basketball for the Buccaneers, but she was on the end line. Good call by the officials. They're right there. But again, since Alex had to sit on the bench the majority of this third quarter, Jeff, you've got to set up some high-low to feed Alex the basketball. Worst case, get her to the free throw line. You've got to stop the momentum the Buccaneers are doing for Florida Southwestern. Not about the three. Oh. Pulled it back down. Lewis, Bates, did she get the magic back? Kicking it out, Morales. There now it is. There it is. And the shot was altered just enough. But a good shot. That's exactly what you need right there. 
Second chance opportunity, you draw the foul, foul just what the doctor ordered. Hey. Over for game, limited time, had eight points in that first half. Yep. She started off like gangbusters. Our shot clock. Lewis spins. Oh, what oh, a pretty. Take. Brianna Lewis. Gets it's tied at 54. Gets the double digits, 11 points for Brianna. Just when you need the Energizer Bunny, she answers the call. Sadie Desroches. Normil. A kick out. Three on the way for Spencer. Swishes it through. Spencer has seven. First three point bucket. Three point lead for the visitors. Bates forcing in Obo Fagay. Turnaround shot is Beautiful good. Beautiful play. Nice spin move. Gets the double digits. Alex, we need that down low. Well done. One point basketball game. 2.15 to go here in the third quarter. Putting things in motion. Felder. Long ball, NBA range like it was nothing. Back-to-back -back threes. Yeah, back-to-back -back threes for Felder. Big dagger. Biggest lead of the night for Florida Southwestern. Four points it is. You got to keep it together for the Titans here. Bates keep doing what got you there. Makes a little space. Did not get the shot by D. Knocks it back. Oh, this will be an easy bucket for Obo Pagay. Nice helper from Morales. Great hustle play on the far side. Gets it to Morales, down low to Alex. What a great bucket. That's all about effort right there. Cuts it back to two. Got to keep it close. Morales selling out. No problem for Felder. Felder, who averages six points a game, has done it on two possessions. Now that long ball won't fall, yeah. but another rebound, Oliver wins. Good size, Amanda Oliver. You gotta avoid those second chance Ball opportunities. Three for three. Wow. <laughs> what a follow through. Woo, it goes. Three for three for Felder, nine points just like that. Gunner, Mariah Bates impression. And now it's turned over. Getting away a bit. Five point advantage here for the visitors from Fort Myers. Yeah, got to stop defensively here, but great run for the Buccaneers in the third quarter. Got to stop this. Uncle Mo is clearly in favor of the visitors, Florida Southwestern. I hate Uncle Mo at Thanksgiving. Always the worst jokes, right? Nice defense for Morales. <laughs> Pushed ahead by the up and down. And, and she'll shoot another. Wow, that's a big bucket, an N1 situation for the Titans. And I believe it's called the number one. That's her first personal. Here Erna come, Normil. Come some of the starters back on. Oh, Stevens will try to go right at Obo Fagay. I believe she's got two of the three personals that she's put on her. I'll tell you what, that's a big play, Jeff, for the Titans, that is. Good look at Claire right there. A possible N1 situation because everything in the favor of the Buccaneers in this third quarter. And uh, just got to get. Got to get to the end of this third and just regroup. Sophomore from Strasbourg, France, 64% free throw shooter, cannot complete the three-point play. 35 seconds to go in a third quarter that has been all Buccaneers. They lead by three, trailed by eight at the half. 11-point swing in this quarter. Defensive pressure is big here for the Titans. Stevens on the ground. Morales altered the shot over Faguet. Can't keep it. Really active and handsy. Shot clock is off. Got to bottle up the Eight basketball. seconds to go. Ashman, one on one, top of the key. Ashman to the left. She'll shoot. She'll be blocked. Obofagay at the buzzer. Wow. Off the mark. What Better. a great defensive set there, Jeff. I mean, Alex. I mean, Alex just goes there and folds an aisle. That was huge right there. Everything seemed to go in favor of the Buccaneers and to stop that ebb and flow to make it three points. This is a great opportunity now for the Titans to regroup, but Buccaneers, wow. Look at the purple and aqua. They just had a great third quarter plan, very aggressive. And, and again, a lot of answers back and forth, but that size is really starting to stack up in favor of Florida Southwestern. Ouch, scored uh, Eastern Florida by 11 in that quarter. So whatever uh, was said in the halftime locker room by Dr. Christy Ward, uh, well, it was well served. Well, I mean, the biggest thing right there, you can see the MJ Baker, her squad, trying to make the adjustments for the final stretch of the fourth quarter. And right there, the Purple and Aqua, three three-point baskets, huge for Kiara Felder, freshman of Lake Worth. Had no points in this game at all, and then lights lights up three, three for three from three-point land.
take a look at some of the highlights from a very fast moving third quarter. Yeah, here's Ashman again. Ashman knows how to get her points, and she sure does. Up and in. And again, situation. She's got range as well, drops it down for the top of the arc. Nice extra dish. There's Felder right there with the first of her three point baskets. And just again, long range right there, a second three. And those are, those are killers right there. Another swing, she's filling it. Bam, got it. Nine points for Felder. And again, we knew we were going to have ourselves a ball game, Jeff. And we got our doozy now. But the biggest thing is Alex is back in the lineup for the Titans. There's a quick foul called on number five. Kiara Felder picks up her first. Kind of a hold situation. No, Felder and Oliver did not score in that first half. Yeah. They had 15 points in that third quarter. Well, I mean, again, that's that's team contribution. Uh, Coach Coach Ward has said the fact is she can bring in anybody, and they integrate, and they play together well. So she's got great balance, and it shows. Uh, Brianna Lewis has cooled off a bit here in the second half, she's continuing to run the show. And Jay Baker trying to get it down to Alex. Oh, well, Fugay. Yep, loose ball foul. Got bailed out there for the Titans. The foul will be on Gocher. And it looks like Normil will Normil be whistled for a second yeah. personal. But for MJ Baker right here, they got to get back to how they got into the lead. The intensity and the energy, but they got to take care of the basketball. Most important thing. And Alex right here, you got to cash in. When you get to the free throw line, take advantage of these opportunities. 60% free throw shooter makes the first. Has 13 in the game now. Again, in limited time, only had eight in the first half. Well, and you notice too, Jeff, when they made the run, the Buccaneers, that is, Alex was sitting on the bench with three fouls. And I mean, MJ was in a tough situation there. She couldn't have her go out there and get the fourth personal foul on the third. She got to sit her deep in the fourth. The game could be out of hand by that time. And Oliver back in. As Orlando Boone products. Makes them both. She got a team do. down just by one now. 63 62 underway in the fourth and final quarter. In a sizzling game here at the Titan Fieldhouse. Great Back pass. Door, could not complete it. Although Fugay the rebound. Do you see the difference with Alex in the lineup for the Titans? They're able to swipe it as one and done for the Buccaneers. Around the way, does not fall. Kind of stop the ball here. Worley trying to release it. Haven't seen much of her tonight. Good defense to stop the transition right there. And smart for Normil for the Bucks to kick it out and reset the half court set. Just inside the top of the key, doesn't fall. Oliver, the big board. Oliver, 8.3 rebounds a game that leads the team. You see why. She's up Dennis Rodman. It's a big forget. no call. Big no call there. Good defense for Alex. Worley thought about it, pulls it back. Lewis now in the corner for Bates. Too strong. One and done once more. Oliver, another rebound. That's another storyline here. You can see the Bucks of Florida Southwestern. They're getting second, sometimes three chance opportunities. And the Titans only getting one and done. You got to get that. You got to crash the boards. And you got to block out. Normeal. He's in on Bates. Good one on one defending. Shot clock at five. Asher was disrupted by Obol Fagay, who gave it away. That's, that's a tough situation. Alex makes such a great denial on the low post to get the basketball back and makes kind of a wild pass out to one of her guards, goes out of bounds. That's an ill-advised turnover. But again, you can see the difference. With Alex being in the basketball game, everything changes. The Buccaneers are not getting those easy buckets as they did in the third quarter to make their run. Bounds. Back to Stevens and Tina. Well, they get it to go. It's again playing with three fouls. Obo Fugay didn't want to hack her. Yeah, Coach Ward, one of that fourth personal foul, doesn't get it, but again, a turnover on the Titans. Just can't do that in a close game against an Asher ranked opponent. It is three. And the basketball for Meeks. Big part of the basketball game right here, Jeff. Foul high on the floor is going to be called on Bates, her second personal. Good look at Coach Ward there, Florida Southwestern. Four seasons at 
Florida State College of Jacksonville, two-time Mid-Florida Conference Coach of the Year before heading to the Sun Coast. And Eastern Florida will again yield possession. It just seems like every possession for the Buccaneers lasts an eternity. Where's your legs out defensively? Got to keep grinding. You got to keep that energy going. Great play by Lewis. You got to pick up those loose basketballs. And Lewis has got to do something here, a little shake and bake. Another kick out. Morales thought about it. Uh, now read the way Worley couldn't get there. Sometimes, Jeff, there's a moment that one, one extra pass is too much, and that was a situation that Morales had a good look at the top of the key, needed to make that shot from three. Now we'll use every bit of time here. Seven minutes to go. Forcing it into Stevens. Oh, out of bounds. Left it out of bounds. I'll tell you what, the presence of Alex, I, I know I've been saying this a lot the last few plays, but it's changed everything. It forces the Buccaneers to alter their shots, and it really is a big uh, intangible that's going taking place right now. Coach Ward is just beside herself thinking that she's going to get that fourth foul. And again, Alex is, has luckily uh, not got that fourth foul. Got the three quite easily in the first. Yep, yep. Sometimes the pendulum swings back. Badi, again, one and done. MJ wants a foul there, doesn't get it, but you get a stop transition defense here. Oh, get a foul on the other end, though. Well, let's see who it is. Bates and Alex were down low. Obo Fugay was there, and luckily was called on Bates. So Bates picks up her third. Normeal will go to the line. Erna Normeal, 74% free throw shooter. And, and I think MJ's going to call a full time, time on the floor. This will be a full time out to talk about. Uh, again, Jeff, this is a situation you can see MJ Baker. She she is so competitive yeah. in spirit. She's on the show. Uh, you love her passion for her team. And, and just this is a great opportunity. But again, the storyline so far is the first half, the intense energy, defensive pressure the Titans put on the Bucks, really kind of flushed to the Buccaneers. But now in the third quarter, when Alex went out in the third quarter, with those three fouls. She did not make an appearance till deep in the third. The Buccaneers knew this, made their adjustment, made their runs. Now, got to make these adjustments. You're looking at 638. Biggest thing is the Titans got to take care of the basketball on the offensive side of the ball. They really do. They've been reckless and one and done, as you said. Buccaneers, they keep feeding they, the big legs, but now they Alex is stopping the, a little bit. Limit the second and third chances here that the Buccaneers have. And Great MJ point. Baker is a player. Uh, at the University of West Florida was uh, excellent at doing that. She still has the school record for blocks and rebounds yep. as a player, who nece not necessarily was a big player size-wise, but former professional player in Germany, MJ Baker, trying to instill that in her team, the toughness as far as rebounding. It's not necessarily all your, your, your demographics, your stats. Well, there's, your, your size, well, there's it's, it's, Alex, it's an attitude. Well, exactly, but Alex right there, she takes up space, and that's important, that's alters shots. And, and that's a big situation. The same thing MJ Baker did in her playing days. Free throw good for Normeal. Is that her first point of the day? I think it, it is. is. Wow. She's their leading scorer. And just two. Both free throws now, but it's a five point advantage. Is it starting to draw late here in Melbourne? Gotta take care of the basketball for the Titans. Get good looks, take care of that ball. That job, priority one. Bates, can she get back on track? Not that time. Stevens, a rebound over uh, for Gay. Late whistle, and it was from the back judge as well. Oh. Calls it on, yeah, Obo Fagay. There was no whistle down low on the paint, but it was the, oppo the opposing referee that makes that call. Four fouls on Alex. Oh, you want to get your get your money's worth on the foul. That's yeah. not the way to do it. Yeah, MJ's beside herself on that call. That's big right here. Now Alex has got to play smart now. She's got four fouls. Still got to be aggressive. But just put your arms up. Normeal. We can make this really difficult with the bucket here. Oliver, oh, Stevens, from just inside the three-point line, ice water in her veins yep. to the hard way. Yep, good-looking freshman there. Tina Stevens, freshman of Palmetto, accumulates 13 points. That's a big shot. They've trailed by as many as 13, and they now lead by seven. Need a basket here. Alex has got to move a little bit more down the paint. 
Bates, not that time. She has cooled off in the second half. It's one and done. Everything's on the outside perimeter. There's no defense down low. Blocked. Morales trying to corral it. Oliver sold out, hit the floor to get the ball back. Right now the Buccaneers want it more. They're very passionate. They throw it up and they attack the basketball if it's missed. Foul before the shot. Yeah, third personal call on Lewis. Brings in and Jane Worley. Yep, she comes in for the first time. Bates checks out, but again, you, you can see those sets, those three-point baskets, they work. And Tom, that's when you call by MJ Baker, 30-second timeout. But you can see the look on Bates's face right now. She had it going the first half. But again, we have no penetration down low on the post play. Every shot has been up from the outside, and if they're not dropping, Buccaneers are running down. They keep on yeah. adding to this lead. Uh, they, the quick rebound, and they are off to the races. And that's one thing when we talk with uh, assistant coach Stephanie Schaefer ahead of the contest. That's one thing they needed to limit was their ability to run. They did that in the first half. Uh, and the Buccaneers now, they're, they're playing for a big thing tonight. Uh, the Buccaneers, the visitors, obviously, they're trying to secure their first ever Suncoast Conference Championship and second consecutive birth to the FCSAA NJCAA Region 8 Women's Basketball Championship. So a lot of success early for uh, Coach Ward of Florida Southwestern and what they've done in just, believe it or not, two years. But uh, MJ Baker for the Titans, there's, there's Coach Ward right there. But right now the Titans, they gotta keep it close. They cannot get it further out than a seven point spread. There's a good look at MJ. She's into this game big time. The Buccaneers. 5-0 in conference play. Boy, big rebound there from Worley. Yeah. Good substitution by MJ to get there, to start getting that basketball. Ugh. Ball comes loose. Brown's got to take care of that basketball. Alba Faguet, turn around. That's there your bread is. and butter. Alex back into the store scoring column. That was a big drop for the 16. Titans. Big drop for the Titans. That was a big stopper right there. Big play for Alex. Cut to five. Stevens, ball on the floor. That one will roll off. Worley, another rebound. Jeff, this is where you got to make a run if you're the Titans. Lewis will circle back out. Good shot selection here, needed. So they're, they're, they're conceding the long three points. They really are. And, and right now, the Titans can't cash it in. It's great when they rein in, but right now, you got to get low for Alex. Because they know, yeah, it may go against us, but if it doesn't, it's an easy rebound. And, and one. How about that? Bobo <laughs> Fagay. That's exactly what I'm prescribing for the Titans. You got to get her down low to Alex. That's the only reason the Bucks made that run in the third quarter, and that's how you get back in this ball game. Big time play for Alex Oboe for Gay and timeout call by Florida Southwestern. It's a one possession game, 418 to play. And after the timeout, Alex Oboe for Gay can cut it to two. It'll be a 30 second timeout. Well, what are they saying here in each huddle right now as we get to the, the crunch time of this one? Here, Eric. Well, I mean, the biggest thing is right there you see for MJ Baker's crew is, hey, let's get back to what got us into the lead. Take care of the basketball and start feeding us down low. Get it to Alex. It's worked out. And for Coach Ward right there, she's like, you know what? Finish the intensity. You're right here. Let's close the deal. We're on the road. This is a big road victory situation. Let's secure that first ever conference championship. Latest Region 8 poll. It's the Buccaneers fourth in that poll's best team in the state. Eastern Florida fifth. Oh, this is a uh, Epic battle, uh, titanic struggle that could go to the end here. Yep, it's going to come down to every possession. Nice rotation. Makes all three of those points on that trip down. And it worked out actually the timeout taken by Florida Southwestern. It looked like Alex was a little gassed uh, coming and sitting on the bench for a while. So that actually worked out in favor for the Titans. 19 for Alexandrino Bofaguet. Stevens looking for the loose ball. And a late call, Titans basketball. So now they have a chance to tie or maybe even take the lead on this trip down. But you say, let's keep going into the paint. I keep feeding it. It's working out. You've seen it in the third, fourth quarter. Alex was off the floor in the third. 
Buccaneers made a run. Titans get Alex back in the game, you feed her, and right now yep. you got a chance to maybe get in the lead or tie the game. When you watch a lot of basketball, your jump shooting tends to go south. Oh my goodness. How, how did that not go in, rimmed out? Your, your jump shooting tends to go south yep. late in the game and the legs get a little heavy. The legs get a little heavy. That's why you got to feed down low because then you can control the possessions, catch your breath, then you control the clock. How does that not go on for Brianna Lewis? That was like a Daytona 500, a couple victory laps. <laughs> but to no avail. Here we go. Drive Bali the basket here. Turns. Gets up and under. Shot yes. contested by Oliver. That was close. Oliver, no call there. Looked like Oliver got Beatty, Badi on the hands. Oh, high, low, and Oliver couldn't complete it. Wow. Oliver gets a gift wrap present early and can't open it. Lewis, so she missed the bunny in that end, and the Energizer bunny scores on the other. I love the Tied energy of this game. Nine. Absolutely, Jeff. Good energy, good answer by the Titans. Again, good ball clubs, make runs, and here we go. Yes, Lewis's first bucket of the second half. And that was a good one. 69 all. Uh, foul. Yep. Push. Yep. And he picks up a third personal. But uh, what a what a ball game. I, it really has gone. The first half is what it is. Set the tempo. Buccaneers make a run. Now the Titans come back. These are situations at close ball clubs. Whether you're a Buccaneer fans or a Titans fan, you got to cash in the free throw. Big miss there in the front end. Bates comes in. AD comes out. Yep, she's had a good game. Looks a little tired, though. That's a good time to get Bates to maybe kind of get her mindset. Maybe get her in the corner for a big three. Oh, one of two from the line for Ashman. 21 for her. Good game for Ashman. This has a feeling the last last team, the team with the ball may yep. win it. Tip the ball away. Go. Yep, let it go out. But the biggest thing is here, Jeff, when Brianna's trying to sit up Alex in the post, Alex needs to sit down low on the post. She's way too high to get it down there. And, and the size of a number 15, Tina Stevens, is just keeping her out there. See right here, she's got to get a little bit lower down the post. Shot clock at seven. Looking for Bates here. Kicking out. Instead, and it's going to be Morales, and she's short. So sure that's what they wanted. Oh, what a play by Worley. She sold out. It will stay with the Buccaneers of Florida Southwestern State. Good look at their Anthony Worley. What a great hustle play to stop the Buccaneers in transition, and darn near gets a turnover. And going up against a couple of her former high school teammates, yep. from Boone Brave. Yep, competitive spirit when you're playing uh, against your former teammates. Des Roaches. Oliver. Got to sit down defensively here, Jeff. No open looks. Make him earn that shot. Force him into a bad shot. Working it down low to Ashman. Boy, pretty finish yeah. underneath the basket for Ashman. Look at Lewis off to the races. Wild yeah. shot, but Alex with a good offensive board. That's oh, what they've been missing. It's going to be a tough save, but saving it. Saving it inbounds, and this is the run. Ashman, wow. two more. Worley did, took the tough end of that one, trying to save it. That was a big swing right there. Big swing. Again, Worley. Again, Worley right here tries to save the basket. It was a great offensive set to get that second chance rebound. Tries to kick it out, goes a little bit wild. And they'll adjust the scoreboard where it's now a five point game. 74, 69. Now you have to operate almost perfect. Yep. On Got each it. end of the floor. Got to take care of the basketball here. Again, this is a great situation to see if Bates can find a range again. But you got to make that extra pass. Worley. Bates. See, Brianna needs to set up Bates in the corner and get it down to Alex down low. Lewis. She'll let it fly from distance. And saved inbound, Morales. Worley. Got plenty Bates. of time, plenty of time. Kicking out again. Lewis cuts to her left. Swing it oh, one more time. Good job, Worley will let it fly off the mark. Obofage trying to rebound, and it's gonna be Stevens, and we'll slow it down. So 
Nothing doing on that possession. On that set, Morales needed to go back to the basket to draw the foul. And they foul meets a 58% free throw shooter. That's a good foul. You got to force This is where you got to stop the clock because every possession counts now. Like you said, as if it's 58% at the free throw clip. Try to see if you can maybe get them to miss a couple free throws and, and cash in on the other end. There. Job done on the first. So it, you play the percentages. If they can make miss one, you're, you're doing good. The, the whole fact of the one set, though, for the Titans, though, they needed to swing it. Brianna Lewis was going to set at the key and get Bates in the corner. Missed them both. There we go. That's big. Got to take care of the basketball. Worley. Disrupted just enough. Lewis comes up with it under a minute to play. Got to move without the Obo basketball. Fugay. Beautiful. Drawing it right up. Obo Fugay. Time out. That's your key ingredient for success in tonight's game. 21 points for the native of Paris. I mean, every game that we've called, Jeff, you've broadcast hundreds, thousands of games over your life. And the fact of the matter is, a game takes a life of itself. And you can see right now the key ingredient. Every time they fed Alex in this fourth quarter, the Titans come right back into the basketball game. The only difference is sometimes they're not taking care of the basketball for the Titans. And that's what's allowed in the Buccaneers. Hey, kudos, kudos to the Buccaneers. They've taken advantage of those opportunities. 30 second timeout uh, for the Titans. But let's take a look at that last play here. This is big time right here. Look at Alex, look at that, see? She knows at it, she swings down, knows how to finish, gets it up and in. And that's just a great play because, I mean, that was a situation. You get into a three, four possession set and you're down. This could be adios, but the Titans know how to fight back. Feed Alex. Let's reset at a one possession game, 54 seconds to go. The Buccaneers are in the bonus as far as the free throw line. Titans still looking to get there. Uh, that's really been the story of this game, though, is that they have not been able to uh, rack up the personal fouls on the visitors like they've had it done to them. Oh, right here, again, if those free throw percentages are low for the Buccaneers, try to stop the Dada on the inbounds here and then foul him, force him the line. Get time back in your side here. Comes the press immediately trapping Meeks. Meeks going to have to hurry to get it up. Oliver, they just cross it in time. Yeah, that was close. Meeks. Six, six, take the air out of things. They're going to wait to get that for the men's team trying to get fired up for the ladies right now. Ashman oh, blocked block. by Oba Fagay. Circle gets the square. Got to get it to Bates right there. That's the winner. Bates for three to tie it. Oh, my. Mariah Bates. What I tell you. What I tell you. Loose ball. ball. Titans have it. Got to stay 17 outside. 17 seconds. Timeout. Holy cow. What I tell you. Brianna Lewis, great job by Brianna Lewis, right? It'll be a full time out on the floor. But as I said, Mariah Bates was on fire earlier. She got a little bit colder, but this was a great play. This is what I've been dialing up for Coach MJ Baker here. Let's take a look at this. This is phenomenal. Swings it out to Bates. And a good shooter, you just keep swinging that ax. The tree will fall. She drops it. What a big time bucket. A three pointer, no less. And We're then got tied. the possession back. Wow. So can go and take the lead here. 74 all. It's just, just what we prescribed though, Jeff. We, we've dialed it up. It's, it's a beautiful situation there. She sat Bates for a little bit while. MJ did a great job keep, keeping Bates off the floor. Worley came in, did a good job. Brings in Bates into the game. She gets to watch the game. Now she's in Brianna Lewis. What a great dish to get it out there in a big time play. Let's see if they can finish the game. On the line for the Titans, an undefeated home record. Yes. They came in 10-0 here at the Titan Fieldhouse. Florida Southwestern, 5-0 in conference play. Could secure first place in the conference championship with a win in the next 16.5 seconds. This could, look, they've had 18 wins so far this season of the Titans. This will easily be the biggest of the season. Well, and, and I tell you right here, get it back down to Alex. Get it back to Alex, take some time off the clock. First things first, get the ball inbounds, but get the ball down to Alex. You can hear the crowd is really into this, and that's why they're undefeated at home. They love their hometown Titans, but again, this is a situation. Come get the basketball, oh. feed Alex. Feed Alex, we'll that play. is your number one goal. We'll play for the win here, 10 seconds left. It's gonna be a win or overtime on this possession. Lewis will take it underneath. Badi is fouled! She'll go to the line to 
try to win it. 1.3 ticks left. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. They try to set up the isolation for Brianna Lewis, and you could see that the whole time. She was going to go down to try to get the bigger players, draw down on her, and then dish it down low. Now, this is where you got to make your money here. And the timeout's going to be called by Florida right. Southwestern and Coach Ward. They'll try to ice the French woman. 30 second timeout. 64% free throw shooter. What counts is getting the one, because that's what gets you the win with 1.3 left. I, I tell you what, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, Jeff. The, the way they've come back, the third quarter was the Bucks, fourth quarter is the Titans. Uh, we we got to take a peek at this because, again, Brianna Lewis was set up with the isolation. So here we go. You can see this was designed. Now watch. Her goal is to get the bigger players to collapse on her, and she makes a good play. Ill-advised pass to get to Alex, but again, Claire's there to bottle it up, puts it up, and draws a foul. Big free throw here. Everybody's hard to beat. I mean, this this would be uh, an outstanding finish for MJ Baker's team. And I'll tell you what, kudos to WEFS. They they have a knack of scheduling great televised games. I mean, <laughs> these aren't right. yawners, so many thanks to all the viewers tuning in this one. Uh, they, these are two good ball clubs that won it, and it's gone back and forth, Jeff. And I'll and I tell you what, this is a special one. Let's see if Claire can do her magic at the free throw line and close the deal. Tied at 74. Claire's first free throw is good. That's a big one. 75-74. The 1.3. This one really doesn't matter, but it goes in anyway. 1.3, you got a dribble and a shot, right? I'll tell you what, ice in the veins, that's like you on the golf course, Radcliffe. Just over the putt, you just yeah, drain them. Right. But I mean, what, what, what a great play there. This could be a full timeout by Florida Southwestern. But again, you know, great game play by MJ Baker here. Uh, really to get everybody back in. When Alex came in, it was a game changer. It forced the Buccaneers on some spots. And it's just a great play to see Brianna Lewis hit it to that Bates three-pointer. And then for Badie, just go out there and just to make that play to get the make free throw both, line. Make both of them. That, you're talking about ice, water, and veins. That's it. And MJ Baker right there. Roger Dorio, longtime assistant coach for MJ Baker. She wanted me to give a shout-out to him. He hadn't been with the team since December. He had open heart surgery, Holy and he's cow. back with the team, and he's strong. There's Roger right there. What a great contributor he's been to Eastern Florida Athletics. And open heart surgery. This huh? is not going to help. No, oh, this then, kind of kind of excited. Well, I mean, open heart surgery. <laughs> I think they go out there and give you a whole new ticker. Okay, yeah. Well, but, uh, it's going to be tested here. Yeah, but Coach Dorio, appreciate all you do, all right. and uh, maybe this is a good one for you, Coach. Now, right there for the purple and aqua. Now, they're in a situation, this game's not over. 1.3 seconds to go. I've seen a lot of shenanigans happen. Uh, Until you see those donuts and those zeros on the scoreboard, again, anything can happen. They'll have the inbound on this side. That's right. Half court. So they don't have to go to the length of the court. So they can get a good shot here. Two to tie, three to win. Missed shot, and Eastern Florida has the victory. Ashman will shoot at the buzzer, wow. and it's no good, and the Titans have won. 76-74, wow. Southwestern State undefeated in conference, no more. What a game, unbelievable. If we were not courtside, we would not believe it ourselves. What a great job for MJ Baker's team to not quit. The Buccaneers were making a big run. It seemed like they were gonna come here and steal a win on the road and seal up their first conference championship. But I tell you what, a hard fought win for both sides. You hate to see someone's got to lose this type of ball game, but man, wow. What a game, Jeff, what a bang. We'll be what back, talk with MJ Baker right after this. Women's basketball team takes on Hillsboro Community College live Saturday at 2 on WEFS. 
Join the fast-growing and rewarding field of healthcare at Eastern Florida State College's new Health Sciences Institute, where you can earn bachelor's degrees, associate's degrees, and certificates in a wide range of exciting careers, such as nursing, surgical technology, emergency care, radiography, sonography, and more. Don't delay. Contact Eastern Florida State College today. Seventy-six, seventy-four. The Titans rise tonight and uh, knock Florida Southwestern State from that unbeaten record in conference play. They look to uh, come here to the Titans' home court and uh, clinch a championship, and we're unable to do so. The Titans stay undefeated at home, and uh, more importantly, move to four and two in conference play. They have their nineteenth win of the season, and. Blood pressure needs to settle down now. Joined now by MJ Baker. Boy, what the, this one of these program the building wins, program changing wins sometimes. But how big was this, and, and how many things you had to this team had to battle through in order to get this victory tonight? I mean, the whole game was just facing adversity. I mean, we got we were in foul trouble. One of our best players, Alexandrian, she was in she had three fouls in five minutes. We had to sit her the whole first half, and then she played the whole fourth quarter with four fouls. And we had some runs there in the second half with turnovers, but the fact that they didn't give up and they composed themselves, and when it counted most, we executed. But, I mean, it was a great team effort. I mean, everyone really dug in deep, and you could tell that everyone gave everything they had this game. Uh, Claire, uh, making the two big free throws. I mean, <laughs> it, it, when it comes down to the it, 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 you could be a great free throw shooter, but when you're in that position, you know that's going to be the difference between a win or sending it to overtime. That, kudos for her to be able no, to pull I that mean, off. No, I mean, that's just ice in the blood. Claire is one of those people that she just is a competitor, and she just does whatever it takes to get the job done. I mean, I'm just she, if it's from cleaning up the floor, if it's from stops, if it's from rebounding, and then today, which is she's not usually in this position, it was hitting free throws, and she's not usually in that position at the end of the game because she's usually our post player, our point yeah. guard, and she came in clutch. Uh, let's look at some of the highlights from this one. Uh, an eight-point advantage at half. You were trailing by seven in the fourth. Uh, and, and talk about what really uh, did it tonight. There was the early shooting uh, yeah, from Mariah Bates. I mean, Mariah, I mean, the first half, just unbelievable shooting. Second half, they adjusted and took her away. But Mariah just locked in, was just wanting to just trying to be a team player as far as setting screens, locking down on defense. But she had hit a big three at the end. She was quiet for a long time, but when we needed her most, she showed up again, and they did a great job of taking her away the second half. Yeah, shooter's mentality, just keep chucking them up there. And then Alex yep. was huge. I mean, she, just when she's in the game, she opens everything up. Yeah, and this is not replay after replay. These are different plays, but yeah. they all look the same. It is, and that's the thing. With her, it's such an inside-outside game, but when she's out of the game, it's really hard to get her inside game going. Um, and then Breezy alone with the 13 points and 11 assists. I mean, they just couldn't contain her, and she just does a great job of finding her teammates. Uh, next, you got a game uh, Saturday against Hillsboro. You're now in, tightening things up in this conference race. They were unable to clinch tonight. Now you guys can have the eyes on the prize a little bit. Now. Yeah, we have three conference games left, and if we can just execute and finish and give our best, we have a chance of hopefully competing for the conference championship um, as if we go 3-0 and and win yeah. the next three, um, or at least hopefully battling to get to top two in the conference yeah. to go to states. That last game at Florida Southwestern on the 17th of this month will be one, oh, certainly one to watch. Well, congratulations. A huge win. It was a, certainly a pleasure to uh, be witness to it here tonight. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for everyone. Got it. Appreciate that, it. That's MJ Baker, first year head coach of the Titans. Biggest win of the season, biggest conference win of the season for sure. They're now four and two in the league play and now nineteen and five overall. What a season it has been. 2017-18 for the Titans women's basketball program. A big win against the Buccaneers over previously uh, conference unbeaten Southwestern State. The Buccaneers came and go down at the buzzer. Well, for our entire crew, for Larritz Karolf, our producer, our director, Roger Hayward, our entire WEFS crew, along with Eric Kohler, I'm Jeff Radcliffe, saying so long. We now return to our regularly scheduled program.